Well, <clears throat> today's little project is to make a lead hammer. Now there are many videos on YouTube which show you how to cast lead hammers and um, there are various different ways of doing it. But I don't really have any casting facilities as such. So <clears throat> one of the videos which I thought was extremely interesting and also a very simple way of doing it was one by Johnny Q90 and I'll put a link to his video in the description. And it's an extremely simple method and so this is what we're going to try doing. Basically you take a length of copper pipe, the diameter and length that you want the head of your hammer to be. You then cover one end of it with a uh, kitchen foil um, and basically stand it on that end. And then you put small amounts of lead into the copper tube and heat it up until it melts. And uh, obviously the idea is that you fill up the entire copper tube with lead. Then once it's cooled, you simply <clears throat> cut off each end of the copper tube, say 10 millimeters, to reveal the lead. Drill a hole through the middle and then affix whatever handle you want. Now, in my case, I'm going to use a, this. This is an old um, ratchet, socket ratchet uh, bar, which I've uh, turned the end down and cut a, a half UNC thread on it. So that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna drill that half inch and tap it, half UNC. Um, anyway, that's the plan. So, uh, Let's get on and give it a go. So here's the prepared copper tube. Used a bit of a uh, wire locking wire to hold the uh, tin foil in place. Um, I'm going to do the melting the, the lead part off camera because that's um, rather a smelly process and obviously molten lead gives off rather unpleasant fumes. So I'm going to do that outside. Well, that bit didn't actually take very long. <coughs> um, it's been standing outside to cool down, but um, as you can see, yeah, the lead, I mean, lead melts really easily. It's a very low temperature, very low temperature melting point. Let's take the um, silver foil off, see what the other end looks like. Well, with a bit of persuasion, <coughs> the uh, silver foil came off okay. Um, I'll have to scrape it off of that end, obviously, but um, just the next stage will be clean the copper pipe up. <coughs> And then we need to cut off a small section at each end, say 10 mil to reveal the lead, which I will probably do on the lathe using um, one of my tool post adapters and a cutting disc in the, in the Hilda die grinder. So that will be the next stage. Okay, so here's the cleaned up hammerhead. <clears throat> and I've marked off where I want to equally distant from both ends where I want to uh, remove the copper. Um, and uh, I'll show you the setup that I'm going to use to do that in a minute. Okay, so this is the setup I've got to, um, I just want to remove, I don't want to cut too deep, just to cut through the copper so that I can remove the copper from the lead. Um, so we're using the mini chuck <coughs> and the Hilda um, in one of my tool post adapters and the work is held in the chuck of the lathe and I'm going to rotate the work slowly and then just gently bring the cutting disc in and hopefully I'll, I can control the depth quite nicely doing it that way. I think we're through. You can see lead. I should do. Yeah, I think we're definitely through there. Yes, definitely through. I'm going to turn it around to the other end. Well, <clears throat> we successfully um, cut through 
both ends using the disc cutter. That worked out quite well. Now I'm going to clamp this in a, a V-block and use the disc cutter freehand to slice down here so I can peel the copper off. Well, that's the theory anyway. So this is, this is the way I was hoping I was going to be able to do it. And it does seem to be working. Let's peel that up, like you're peeling an apple. And that reveals the lead. And obviously it's going to need to be cleaned up, but uh, and I'll do the same for the other end. And then all we've got to do is drill the hole and tap in the middle. So how did it turn out? Well, 50-50. This end turned out very nice indeed. This end, not so nice. We obviously had some problems um, with melting of the uh, lead in that, at that end. But um, <clears throat> in all fairness, um, I didn't just use nice sheet lead that I got off of eBay. Bay. This is a whole mixture of all different, different types of lead. There is some sheet lead in there. There's some little bits of lead pipe. There's some <clears throat> bicycle wheel weights. There's all sorts of different types of lead in there. So <clears throat> I'm not too uh, you know, surprised that this happened, but I'm fairly certain I can tart this up this end anyway. But uh, it'll still make a perfectly serviceable lead hammer. I've um, drilled and tapped the hole uh, for the handle. So basically I just need to clean this up, clean the handle up, uh, lock tighten the handle in place and, and, and the job will be done. Well, here's the finished hammer. I'm um, not oh, too unhappy with it. Now that's the good end. That one turned out quite nicely. And that's the bad end. Um, basically I used some uh, lead based solder to fill the holes in which has tightened it up a little bit, but I don't know how much use that end of the hammer is going to be. That end's going to be fine. I mean, I don't think there'll be any trouble with that at all. Um, I think it could probably have done with uh, a longer handle, but um, I mean, it's proved that the, the, the principle of the thing works. Um, I'm going to have a go and make another one. I've bought myself some little lead ingots off of uh, eBay. So hopefully That'll be nice, um, decent lead without any impurities in it. So yeah, so we'll have a look, have a go, make another one. I'll probably use a um, larger hammer uh, on the next one. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting exercise. Um. Right, well, I actually did have a go at making another one. Well, I used um, a slightly different technique this time. Same, same size piece of copper pipe, tin foil over the end. But instead of putting the small bits of lead into the copper pipe and melting it i actually got myself a proper crucible with a holder and i've got some of these um little lead ingots they're about 400 grams a pop uh, each one off of ebay very cheap i um i think i had six of them uh no i'm trying to think now four of them yes four of them um and there's uh, there's still a bit of lead left in here i didn't use uh, there wasn't too it didn't take two of these to fill up the, the copper pipe um, but um, yeah I think uh, this one this one came out a lot better as you can see you know I mean most of the marks are ones that I've, I've put on the ends of those um, uh, when getting the copper off but yeah that one that this came out a lot a lot a lot nicer um, uh, this one obviously I've used a slightly larger handle which I made this is about a 22 mil steel bar which um, I, I made for it um, uh, I think that it's mainly the fact that the, this is obviously nice lead without any impurities in it and um, basically uh, melting it and pouring it. Um, I, I also preheated the copper tube, made sure that was really, really hot. And then of course I melted the complete amount of lead that I needed to fill this up in one go. And I think that, that made all the difference. So I think if I was going to do this in future, um, I, I would probably use that method. But again, I think this would have probably have turned out better had I used, um, you know, nice lead like this, rather than the, all the scraps of lead that I used um, when, I, when, I, when I made it. But like I said, this one is still useful. It's this is usable, um, you know, um, but it was an interesting exercise. Um, and it's and also it's very, it's something you can do at home because you don't need oxyacetylene welding kit for this, a, a decent, um, uh, propane gas torch will, will will do the job no problem at all um, 
And um, like I said, as long as you take a few precautions, obviously, as I said before in the in the in the first part of the video, that that is uh, not only really messed about with. Um, do it outside, idea preferably, so you've got plenty of ventilation. But um, yeah, I'm I'm well I'm well pleased with this one. This is this is uh, I'm, this is a this is a nice hammer. I'm, I'm I'm this one. This one will probably get preferential <laughs> usage over over this one. But anyway, there you go. And I make a simple lead hammer, um, and it really is easy. So uh, you know, have a go yourself. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed the video, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Cheers!